Hey y'all, it's Kate from The Litter Apothecary and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to talk about The Fall is All There Is by C.M. Kaplan. This is book one in the Four of Mercy series. It was a SPFBS PFBO9 finalist. I can never get that correct on the first try. And an Indie Ink Award finalist. Now this review is a little difficult for me to rewrite and um, film for you all because there were some parts that I really, really enjoyed, but there were other parts that I had a really hard time with. So this is a well-balanced review, at least in my opinion, and um, all I provide are honest reviews, so here is my honest review for The Fall is All There Is. Uh, a spoiler-free summary first. This is fantasy, science fiction, steampunk, post-apocalyptic, and with LGBT rep in it. Patron Mercy is an estranged prince. He fled home five years ago. He's one in a quintuplet and on the autism spectrum. He has to decide which sibling to pledge his loyalty to when his father, the king, dies. His siblings are in this battle for control and the throne, and he's got to figure out who is the right sibling to give his loyalty to. Now, my call pile ratings. For characters, I gave this a 6.5 out of 10. This is one of those categories that I had a really hard time with. Um, I had a hard time with our main character, Petra. I felt like I couldn't trust him or anyone else in this book, and his different mannerisms were made it really hard for me to read because some were confusing. He himself didn't know what was happening in the world, and... I personally have a harder time when we have an unreliable narrator like that where they don't know what's going on, so we don't know what's going on. Other people are trying to manipulate them. He's trying to figure out who he can trust and therefore we don't know who we can trust. I didn't even know if I could trust him because he didn't know what was going on. So I had a really hard time with our main character and all the other characters because there was it felt like there was really no one that was fully trustworthy in this book. And so I didn't have that one character that I could just trust no matter what that I tend to grasp onto in books. Atmosphere and setting, I gave it 8 out of 10. I thought that Kaplan did a really good job of establishing the setting here. I could see everything as we were moving through the different lands. And the atmosphere was done really well as we were moving essentially from siblings territory to sibling territory you felt that shift in atmosphere and as things started to change the atmosphere tried started to change so i thought you did really well with that writing style i gave a 7 out of 10 world building was fantastic the pacing was great our characters eh, as i mentioned before i had a hard time with those it felt like not a whole lot was actually explained, which left me really confused. And I still had a lot of questions at the end of this book. Um, and speaking of the ending, the ending just felt a little weird to me. It felt almost unfinished and I wanted a little bit more resolution at the end than we got. Plot, I gave a six and a half out of 10. Like I just mentioned, I wanted more resolution at the end and it, was hard to tell other than Petra going to his family and meeting all of his siblings one at a time what the actual plot was in this book. Intrigue I gave an 8 out of 10 partly because I was confused but also partly because of the intrigue that was built in. Because of those unreliable characters I had so much intrigue trying to figure out who's the person that we can trust, who's the per people we can't trust, what's going to happen, where it's going to happen, when it's going to happen. Had a lot of intrigue here. Logic and relationships, I gave a 5 out of 10. Because of that untrustworthiness and people always trying to scheme and manipulate our main character, I felt like our relationships and our logic were both a little bit off in this book. Enjoyment, I gave a 6 out of 10. Like I said, there were parts that I absolutely loved. The world building, our pacing, um, our intrigue. There are certain things that I absolutely loved in this book. Certain things made it really hard for me, which gave me kind of a balanced out enjoyment. That gives us a total of 47 divided by seven, which equals 6.7, which comes out to a three and a half out of five stars. 
On Goodreads, I rounded up to four stars because we don't have half, half stars. So, like I said, parts I enjoyed, parts were hard for me. If you've read The Fall is All There Is, let me know in the comments below what did you think of this book? What did you think of the character specifically? Is it just me that's having a hard time with these characters or did other people have a hard time also? As always, keep reading and I love y'all to the moon and back. Bye.